friends, we are going to get started with some morning coffee and then we are going to get into my stay at home mom cleaning motivation video for today. I have a big weekend coming up, a eight hour wedding that I'm going to be shooting out of town. So I didn't want to get too crazy into pulling things apart, decluttering, organizing this week. I really just wanted to focus on maintaining a tidy home. That was my biggest goal this week. So I really wanted to make sure that I stayed on top of the laundry, on top of the dishes, toys off of the floor, all the surfaces clean. That was really um, what I was trying to go for today and every day this week just to make sure I stayed on top of it and that when the weekend comes, my husband can just manage the kids and not have to worry about everything else. So I typically like to start my cleaning during my toddler's nap time. He is the kind of child that he usually is undoing whatever I'm doing in the moment. So if there's laundry on the couch, he likes to start kind of throwing it everywhere like confetti. <laughs> so um, I usually like to do laundry while he is napping and we are going to start with that today. Um, at some point you will see him in the video uh, because everything revolves around my children for the most part as far as you know picking up one from school, homeschooling, and then with a the toddler running around. So uh, I may not have all of that in here but I am showing all of the cleaning tasks that we will be tackling today. So if you're needing some motivation to get your day started, put this video up on your laptop, on your screen somewhere, and I'd love for you guys to clean along with me. So my toddler didn't nap for too long today. His door is already open and he's running around, but me and my daughter just finished up lunch and I threw the dishes in the sink. So now that the laundry is folded and put away, I'm gonna go ahead and unload the dishes from the night before and then load them up. And the countertops really weren't too terrible um, as far as you know, being loaded up with stuff. I mean, I have some cups and a couple of dishes. So I wanna just get everything cleared off go ahead and start another load of dishes and then just get all of the countertops cleared and wiped down.
as I'm loading the dishwasher, you'll see my toddler run through to get to the refrigerator. He is getting a Tupperware full of noodles from the night before um, to try and open up. I'm telling you, I think this kid is going through another growth spurt because lately he just wants to eat all day long. And I try to give him little snacks here and there, but he loves pasta. He loves noodles with just a little bit of Parmesan and salt on it. So you can see on the table over here in the corner, he's got a big Tupperware full of noodles. Um, and he's just enjoying watching them sitting there. Um, but after this, I had to warm him up some just for a little snack because apparently lunch was not enough. <laughs> I tell you all this just to say that although I have every intention to keep the kitchen clean it never really stays completely clean and with being a stay-at-home mom that's pretty typical there's always some kind of cup or dish or you know little plate full of noodles <laughs> in the sink um, but we just roll with it and we do our best to keep up and um, just keep things as tidy as possible but with kids you know it just is what it is and this is the season of life for Anna and that's okay too <laughs> Now I'm gonna clear off and wipe down this bar area. And this is our catch-all area. As much as I hate that, it just is. Not only for myself, but for my kids. As you can see, there is a toothpaste, there's headphones, there's toys, there's a pen, there's Valentine's stuff, you know? <laughs> it's just that space where everything lands. Um, so I don't know, I'd love to know in the comments below, do y'all have like a catch-all area? Is that your entryway space or a basket that you just dump random items in and maybe you um, take those to their homes each day? Or do you have uh, maybe a closet that you just like dump all your, st <laughs> your stuff in when you get home? Um, I always like hearing from you guys and just keeping it real here on my channel. I absolutely love talking to you guys in the comments and just hearing um, what you guys do in your home to keep it tidy and maintained. You're always so helpful to me as well. It always falls on you. Now 
now that my oldest is home from school, all of my kids are preoccupied in playing. So I am just gonna go ahead and throw another load of laundry in here. I'm gonna let this run and then I'm gonna transition it over to the dryer and get this finished and put away as well. Now I'm gonna end my daily tidy up in my bathroom, in my sink area. It is probably my biggest struggle area to keep tidy. Um, you know, after doing my hair and my makeup, I just always seem to leave everything on the counter. So I really want to make an effort and work hard this year to make this a daily habit to come in here each day, um, put everything away, wipe down the sink, any makeup that's in the sink or hair, just keep that cleaned up and presentable and just not continue on in letting this space get cluttered. And that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's um, cleaning motivation, just tidying up throughout my home, just keeping this nice and maintained uh, before the weekend. And I hope that it was able to give you that motivation to do the same as well. I appreciate you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you again on Wednesday. Bye guys.